Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On Friday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released a report about vaping-related lung illnesses, and officials at the Pike County Health Department are wasting no time in getting that info out to the community. We want to share the information. Anytime we get information from the state and the CDC, we want to get it out to the public as soon as possible. And the Department for Public Health is doing the investigation with the CDC. Um, other states are involved too. The symptoms um, shortness of breath, cough, fatigue, um, actually other uh, symptoms have been reported, fever in some cases. Right now there is uh, no known cause for the illness, um, but all of the cases do have a history of e-cigarette use. Officials with the CDC noted that no infectious causes have been identified in the nearly 500 reported cases nationwide saying the lung illnesses are likely associated with a chemical exposure. Cindy Hamilton with the Pike County Health Department says they are especially concerned with the amount of young people using e-cigarettes. We have a health educator in the schools. She's doing education on tobacco use in general, uh, e-cigarettes, vaping. Um, she's also doing opioid education. Vaping and e-cigarette use by the young adults uh, the numbers are unbelievable. Some people think that it's okay to use those um, as a method. It's, it's better than cigarettes. It's something you could use to quit smoking. Um, but they've, they've not been around for that long and you just don't know what is in them. They're not approved by the FD, FDA for a method to quit smoking. Um, so even for adults, it's not something that I would recommend. Anyone interested in quitting smoking, contact us. Um, whether you're using cigarettes or, or e-cigarettes, it doesn't matter. Contact us and we have the smoking cessation classes. At the time of this report, there have been no deaths attributed to vaping in Kentucky, but there is one case of severe respiratory illness being investigated. That number is expected to rise.